Hi, this is David Wicks, your instructor for EDTC 6433, Teaching with Technology. And in this screencast, uh, we want to look at how you uh, could find free uh, digital music to use in your digital storytelling project. And so we're going to go to search.creativecommons.org. And when we're there, we're going to type in our search term into the search uh, window. And uh, when you're doing this, um, in my case, I'm just going to use the term winter because I have a winter theme to my digital storytelling project. So think of a keyword that you want to use. And then um, looking at these two checkboxes here, the first one's asking about whether you're going to use this song for commercial purposes. So are you trying to make money off your digital storytelling project? I don't think so. So we're not going to check that one. And the second one, uh, modify it, uh, adapt, or build upon. There's a possibility that you might um, cut and paste parts of the song uh, in different places uh, in your digital story um, just to uh, uh, go better with the images that you've selected. So if you select this um, choice, then you'll only be choosing songs where uh, uh, the person who created the song is allowing you to remix the song. Uh, once you have that selected, then we want to ch check this, um, uh, click on the, the box here for Jamendo. And Jamendo is, is a um, uh, website that has music. Uh, there's also Wikimedia Commons that has some music, and it's been expressed that has some music. But for music alone, uh, Jamendo is the, the site to go to. So we just click on that. And that will open up the website for us. And be sure to stay on this side of this web page. Uh, on, the, on the left is where you want to be. On the right is where uh, an organization would go who possibly wants to play music in their waiting room. Uh, let's say it's a, a doctor's office or uh, you know, a, a business uh, restaurant or something wants to play music, uh, they actually will license or sell music to those groups. Uh, for our use, uh, we can uh, stay with this side. So uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. It's already got our search term in. We could choose which countries we want to search for. Um, and again, we're, we've already told that we want to find content that we can modify. So that's been selected. And so now um, we go down to what it's it's um, picked for us. And I'm going to just start here with Nora B. And I'm just going to listen to a little bit of this music. And that sounds pretty good to me. One of the things you might want to consider is that the length of it is 143. So I would at least be looking at probably repeating the music twice. I'd have to um, paste the song in once and then paste it uh, again uh, into my uh, timeline in either iMovie or, or Movie Maker. Uh, so a longer song uh, might be more, meta more beneficial so I could choose the second one. Or there are longer songs from other uh, artists so you could pick those. So once I've decided this is the song I want, I can close this window. And then there's a, a download link there. So I'll click that. And the first thing it comes up and asks me if I want to join. And I can just close that window. And then it actually comes up with a window where um, I'm able to download this album. And they're giving you an opportunity to donate. And um, I, you know, if you, if you would like to do that, you can. Uh, you don't have to. And then over on the, the left side, uh, you're seeing the Creative Commons license. So it's a good thing to just click on that license and make sure that it's what you think it is. And of, of course it's in German, so that makes it a, a little difficult for some of us. Uh, so if we go to the very bottom, we can uh, find a way to translate that to English. And so now we can see that we're free to share it. So we will be sharing this. And we are free to remix it, so we can uh, alter um, the music if we need to. And then 
The conditions are we need to give attribution, so we'll need to make sure uh, on a, um, a slide in our presentation, we'll want to make sure that we uh, um, give attribution for this. And what to do that, we'll just need to copy the URL uh, for the where we got the music. And then we can't sell it and then share alike. So they're actually, in this case, saying if we want to use this particular one, we have to be willing to make our uh, digital story that we create needs to have a Creative Commons license on it, which you can do in YouTube, and then others can download our, our the digital story and remix it or reuse it however they want. Uh, so those are the conditions. If you agree to those, then you you can download it. Um, so we're going to close this window and we'll go back uh, to that window uh, that we had open here and uh, uh, so we're just ready to download it we don't um, need to do anything other than to just click the download button and when we do that um, we'll wherever depending on the browser you use uh, I'm using uh, Google Chrome it gives me the download here and if I um, click on this link. Uh, once it's finished downloading, I'll be able to uh, go to the place. I'll show it in my finder on the Mac. But you should have a downloads folder that you can uh, view this in, uh, either on a Mac or PC, uh, where you'll be able to find it. And then you'll just be able to import it into your um, uh, digital storytelling project, either in iMovie or Movie Maker and use that music um, underneath your story. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know.